Welcome to TeamCovenant.com's Combo of the Week for the Spoils TCG. We'll be bringing you the first winner this week. Uh, this week's winner is actually Brandon Aquino, also known as La Sangreal, on the forums. His combo that he submitted is one that kind of shaped the metagame for a while, back when the Spoils was alive and kicking, and we thought it would be good to show you guys the combo as the Spoils is being reborn. So here we go. Turn one, I'm going to play a resource, and then I'm going to spend three on Leet. Now, Lee lets me draw a card from my deck, and then it lets my next card that I play be minus four cost. So, I played Lee, I'll go ahead and put it in my discard pile, and now I'll play the Senior Research Assistant for four, which lets me play it free because of Lee. Now, this is where the combo really kicks in. I will use the Senior Research Assistant, and I will deplete him to make my next cost minus two. I'll use this minus two to play Beefy Elf because I've played the requirement of Beefy Elf is me playing two non-resource cards which is Leet and the Senior Research Assistant. So I'll put the Beefy Elf into play and there we go. My turn one I've used three resources to draw a card, play a Senior Research Assistant which is going to net me two resources for the rest of the game until it's destroyed, and play the Beefy Elf which is a 4-4-3 four, four, on turn one. Pretty nasty setup. Now we could stop here and just show you this cool combo and how to use it but another thing we wanted to do was show you how to stop this combo. One thing that some smarter players started figuring out was a couple cards you could use on turn zero to stop this turn one madness. So we'll show you that right now. I still play the resource, and now I'll play Leet again, which lets me draw the card and play the Senior Research Assistant for free. Then I will deplete the Senior Research Assistant, and now is where we'll show you how to stop it. Okay, so one of the ways you can stop this combo, um, probably the most effective way, is to use a card that can actually be contained in this elitism deck itself. And that card is Exploding Sock Puppet. Exploding Sock Puppet um, is played whenever an ability is activated. It cancels that ability and it destroys the character using that ability. The opponent can't respond to it, they don't have any resources anyway. <clears throat> so if I play Exploding Sock Puppet on turn my turn zero in response to the Senior Research Assistant, it's going to destroy this card, which is super nice. <clears throat> and he's not going to get to play his beefy elf. So, I've effectively shut down the combo, as well as making him really, really reconsider his first turn play. Um, these kinds of decks that utilize this combo really need that tempo to keep going and accelerating into the mid-game. And if you don't have the senior research out, and if you don't get that beefy out, uh, a lot of the cards you held from the mulligan become behind in the curve. It becomes a mess. So, <clears throat> One other thing you can do, um, which is popular if you're running maybe a banker deck, is whenever a senior researcher is activated, to play a same type of card. Uh, subsection 5, paragraph 12. It's a really good card. Opponent can't respond to it, and it cancels the ability, and you draw a card. So, you're drawing a card for basically two resources, as well as shutting this combo down. It's not quite as shut down as with the Sock Puppet, but it does the trick. <clears throat> so these are two ways that you can stop uh, the combo. One with Exploding Sock Puppet, that only needs one Elitism Threshold. And one with Subsection 5, and that's if you're running a, uh, a pretty solid banker deck. <clears throat> and we hope that you found this entertaining and enlightening. And be sure to turn in your combos of the week for spoils next go-around. It's uh, Sunday by midnight. And see if you can win a prize and uh, get some uh, store credit or cash for you. So thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.